Beginning in Inroads V8i Select Series 1, the Inroads commands are now fully integrated into MicroStation and all commands can be accessed either through MicroStation Tasks or the MicroStation menu bar. To show this, we'll first go to Applications, Inroads Group, then to Tools, and we now have the option to turn the Explorer um, on or off, so we'll choose to hide the Explorer. Even though the Inroads Explorer is hidden now, Inroads is still active and running and we can access all Inroads commands through the menus. In this example, I'm just going to create a quick profile. Or I can access Inroads commands through tasks. Some default task menus are delivered with the product in a Inroads DG and Lib that we'll talk about in a little bit. As we can see here, each task um, tries to lay out a logical workflow. In this example, I'm just going to create some cross sections. And then each inroads command can also be accessed uh, through the key in browser. If we type in inroads, we can take a look and see which inroads commands are available. You see each set of inroads commands has its own key in. Uh, for example, if I wanted to review a geometry, I can go to geometry, review horizontal, activate the command. A related functionality now that inroads is integrated in the MicroStation commands is the ability to access the recently used commands through the MicroStation right-click menu. If we execute the in MicroStation right-click window, we have um, a few commands that are here. Uh, while Inroads is up and running, we have some uh, Inroads controls, which are some tracking, some things that you want to look, look around into DGN. Again, we have the Explore Show Hide. Then we have uh, recently used inroads commands. These are the ones I just ran. And we also have a recently opened file list in the inroads right, in the MicroStation right click window.